Thank right you, heads. I'm on the beach. Got my massage seat going. I like it. Corey approved. Yes. Yes. Hey gearheads, do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future content from us. And you help us keep driving crazy cars like this one. While you're at it, go find us on Facebook and Instagram to check out some behind the scenes stuff and see what we're driving next. You can also head over to gtgaragetalk.com, listen to our podcast where we interview people from throughout the automotive industry and some people with some pretty fun automotive backgrounds. All right, I don't know if you can hear all the racket that Corey's got going on in here. Something about massage and all kinds of other oddities in this uh, Genesis. Uh, I don't know about all this. How do I turn that racket off? Volume? All right, Matt. Yep. Battle of the grills. Big grilled SUVs. Right. Took two out. Hyundai, well, Genesis, GV80. <laughs> We've been calling that a Hyundai. I know. I know I have. I'm picking on it. Yeah. Every time I do. And then over here in the other corner, Acura MDX A Spec. I want to talk about the luxury beast first. Let's do it. All right, gearheads. Genesis GV80. This thing's fancy. Okay. Okay, I know I drove an Escalade earlier today. This thing's nice. All right, since we're talking grills mm -hmm. and battle of the grills, mm -hmm. we obviously had to start with, with the, the grill. grill. What are your thoughts on the front styling of this thing? Um, I like the headlights. I like the thin, you yeah. know, little sharp. The two and, lines. Yeah, that's the their two thing lines. Because they continue around the side uh, here and then around to the tail lights okay. in the back all right uh, that is a genesis trademark so so like this much of it yeah is beautiful yeah making it fuzzy but that grill is massive it is it like is. uh overtly so I, and chrome out the wazoo oh, on yeah, that one yeah that would make a Denali blush, I think. All chrome. Yeah. All of it. It's big, it's brash, it's bold. Uh, I was commenting while you were driving back behind me. Uh, I was like, that's a lot of chrome grill <laughs> in my rear view mirror. Yeah. But yeah, to your point, this two line signature that Genesis is going for, they've redesigned their sedans uh, to have these two lines. And as they are kind of designing from the ground up, uh, new vehicles. They're really incorporating some awesome stuff. These two rigs have completely different missions. Uh, the mission of this one is to coddle you in luxury. And to that aspect, I'd say it succeeds. Oh, most definitely. Uh, massaging seats. Cooled seats. Cooled seats. Uh, adjustable thigh support while yeah. you're driving. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely the rig I'm going to want driving down the road. Sure. For any length of time. All right, so this is the best that Hyundai Kia has to offer. <laughs> I know it's Hyundai, but uh, we now have Genesis, Hyundai, Kia in the hierarchy of brands. Interestingly enough, this does not have a full digital dash. Uh, it's half and half, so the left, the Speedo, uh, is analog and it's got inset fuel gauge. I've got a digital center screen and a digital tech. So what happens if I put the, okay. And the digital tech is where the blind spot cameras are when I put my blinkers on. It's interesting. It's up display, good views out everywhere. Calm, quiet ride. Not bad, Hyundai, not bad. 
So lane keep, um, you know, adaptive cruise kind of a thing. Pretty nice. Wow, it's actually really intuitive when it comes to the uh, lane keep. The, the lane just split right there and it, it chose a lane for me. That's, that's pretty nice. I like in the heads up display. It, uh, it tells me when there's someone in my blind spot and shows me exactly where they are in my blind spot. And they really, Genesis really doesn't want you missing any of the action around you. And they want you to know, I've got uh, my, my speed, the speed limit displayed up on the heads up display. I love heads up display. We did realize that once we got over to our little recording spot, that not everything is apples to apples necessarily. They're both SUVs. That one's probably mid-size versus this one being full size. But that one has a third row. This one does not. And uh, and so it's it's adding an interesting dynamic to the uh, comparison, really. Um, this is more luxury focused. That's supposed to be a little more sport focused. Uh, so you know, there's there's some differences. There's some familiarities between the two. Um, but this thing, the shape of the hood, I, I don't know. It's, it, even looking out over the hood, it seems luxurious. Got this nice big bubbled up section here over the gauges. It's all leather wrapped. The whole dash is leather wrapped and stitched. There's a nice screen right up there in the center section, which gets just a little bit in the way, to be honest. It's just a little high for, for my liking. Um, the massage in this seat is weird. Um, but it's actually kind of nice too, so I don't know. Um, take, taking some getting used to for sure, but it's also also really nice. Another thing I really love when done right, and I think it's done right here, is that we are spelling out what you're driving in huge letters on the back. Uh, the new Nissan Pathfinder's got it. Uh, I'm trying to think of some others, but uh, Genesis back on the back, uh, especially with a brand that's establishing itself now at, in more, I don't want to call it a mainstream brand, but it's their premium luxury brand, but most people don't know what Genesis is right. quite yet. So uh, this is definitely a bold proclamation. Uh, ample backside back yes. here for sure. It's yes. beautiful. I love the little pinch yep. around the tail lights. Yeah, very nice, very well done. All right, so as I mentioned before, this does not directly compete with the MDX because no third row. And I think this is actually a little bit bigger rig than the MDX is too. But for storage sake, wow, it's got all of it back here. Plenty of room for everything. Uh, nice uh, cover that snaps in over your gear or our gear in our case today. Uh, closes everything off nice and neat. I'm loving what manufacturers are doing here with the uh, the nice tight bumpers all the way across. Now, there is a disadvantage to it, and I'll show you. I think Corey mentioned it earlier today in a different video, but um, when you get over here to the side, all nice and tight, which means the first thing that somebody hits when they rear end you, yeah, it's that uh, high dollar hatch right there with all those fancy electronics. So. You know, the pluses and minuses to uh, that nice tight feel and being able to reach in and grab whatever you need to. Uh, I think the roof line's done well. The greenhouse, how it tapers up in chrome back there in the back. I'd say the overall design of this thing, to me, is a slam dunk. The grill is a, a bit bold. Yeah. And I'm okay with that in this instance. It definitely means that you see something different. There's times when something different is refreshing and initially i'm gonna admit that uh this is pretty nice like you mentioned you know looking over your shoulder in the rearview mirror uh you know what that is coming up behind you it's yeah. not just your typical you know suburban or rav4 no nope, that's a genesis yep and the interior on this, I'll go open the door. Uh, the steering wheel, Matt, what did you think of the <laughs> one spoke, two spoke, however you want to describe it, steering wheel? I like it. 
I like it a lot, actually. It's very um, different and very comfortable to hold. It was very thick rimmed, but very cushioned. Yes. And super soft leather. Man, the steering wheel. What the heck? It is perfectly thick, very padded, nice 10 2 grips. Oh my gosh, the leather in this. What? I appreciated that so, immensely. Also on the interior of this, you know, we drove the Escalade earlier today yep. and there are buttons everywhere on that thing. Um, this much more simplified, Yep. still plenty of, of gadgets and things to, to deal with, but where this one trumps the Escalade is in this key. Yeah. Look at all those buttons. Well, it's for the smart <laughs> pack. Sorry, there's nobody in that car. No. I commented on buttons uh, in the Acura when I was driving it. There were tons on the steering wheel of that one. Uh, uh, it, it's just crazy how many buttons are on steering wheels nowadays. Some knocks I will give this one. Uh, I don't like rotary dial shifters, but at least this one's nice. It's also got a track wheel type interface uh, that you can also use a touch screen, uh, do the touch screen, but uh, they're, they're giving you options nowadays for interacting with the infotainment system. But yeah, uh, it's push to park, rotate to go reverse drive neutral. I'll tell you a knock I had as well on the knobs. We were turning off of uh, the main road over there and I wanted to change drive modes. And I went reaching for this one, which is very close to this one. They're different, but they're, they're locally placed placed and so you know grabbing this one and trying to switch drive modes while you're cooking down the road probably wouldn't be a good idea no uh, i did take note that this one has hill descent and a center diff lock on it does it. have very interesting this is uh oh wow all right okay this is a lot more powerful than the mdx uh just right out of the gate You're not buying this to drag race it. It can move. You'll merge onto the highway just fine as you're cruising uh, to your destination. Perfectly fine. See if I can run him down. Just about. They've got going on. Okay, I just went over train tracks. What train tracks? This thing's got a nice ride. I will say, the best vehicle here for ride quality we have not gotten to drive yet. I'm going to keep you guessing. It's the only one with a hood ornament, too. Very famous hood ornament. Man, it goes. It's awesome. It's really, really powerful. I like it. Pulls all the way through the gears. These cooled seats, they work. Texas approved. I'm kind of digging it. It's pretty slick. Really, really, really a nice rig. I gotta check out the back seat, see how comfortable it is back there. So I'm in the back seat now and uh, wow, plush is the word. This is incredible. Um, nice wide seat here in the back. Nice soft textiles, nice cushiony feel to everything it's got the cool little window visor thing it's always nice when you have kids because the ones you stick on always fall off plenty plenty of leg room plenty of leg room i mean i'm not a tall guy so the seat's probably not all the way back but i'm good this is amazing and oh wow oh wow oh okay so it does slide up a lot. All right, so that's with it all the way back. Yeah, it's pretty sweet back here. All right, I'll admit it. This is pretty sweet. Don't tell Corey. Battle of the big grills, take two. Acura MDX A spec. It's a little smaller. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, Acura. 
MDX A spec all wheel drive. Looky here, looky here, my goodness. Okay, okay, I like it. Volume knob right in reach. Not bad. Sport steering wheel, sport seats. I like the suede in the middle. Yeah, I, I like this one a little better though. Uh, it, it's not as in your face necessarily, but. It's... I would say that's the A spec, the blacked out sporty yeah. Yeah. appearance, but I do believe uh, the more luxurious trimmed, uh, less sporty intentioned Acuras have quite a bit of bright work up here too. 2021 Acura MDX. This one is loaded out. It has all of the options. I mean, Acura is the premium brand anyway, but uh, this one for sure, lots of beautiful, beautiful touch textiles in here. Um, cool lights as we go into the tunnel here, leaving Texas Motor Speedway. A little blue strip along the sides. Uh, the It's in comfort mode right now, so I'm sure that if you put it in sport mode or snow or something like that, it will change and, and whatnot. Thorough SUV, which is something that becomes more and more popular uh, as time goes on. So should be uh, should be interesting. This one is very interesting. So I'm not a big silver fan. This is a variant of silver. I uh, can't remember the exact name of it. It's on the key fob inside, but love, love, love the contrast of the dark wheels and the red seats and interior inside all right so you can almost immediately tell the difference one from the other the attention and direction that this vehicle is focused compared to the genesis absolutely this is cockpit mode this is everything is at your reach everything has a purpose everything is ready and able to make you faster uh, this is very very sport focused whereas that is very very kick back relax enjoy i'm on the beach got my massage seat going i like it this is like in your face excitement kind of lines kind of colors and yeah contrast. the red definitely helps oh, with that man, the red is beautiful i gave the genesis a hard time for the rotary dial i like this less Give me, give me a dial over buttons. Like this at all. Yeah, and the placement is very strange as well. This is the same setup that's in the Odyssey, and I didn't like it in that either. Uh, that was probably my biggest complaint with the Odyssey was this thing. Again, we're seeing track pads find their way into vehicles. I don't know that I'm a fan. We've got double track pads here for the double screen. So there are two, just like there are two screens. So naturally, the smaller side one controls the smaller side screen. Oh, and you can swap between them. That, that's interesting. Scroll up, scroll down. There's the clock. Here's my favorite. Navigation on navigation, because you can never have too much navigation. At least for right at the moment, I'm going to leave it in comfort mode. Uh, just kind of mosey my way around here a bit. Um, See how it rides, see how it feels before I go into sport mode and get too crazy with it. So, And I don't want to run off and leave Corey either. He's in the Kia, so, you know. So unfortunately, with most of these vehicles, we don't have them long enough at an event like this to really get down into the nitty gritty. This allows us the opportunity to get to know a little bit about the character of the vehicle but maybe not their personality if that makes sense uh, this one obviously has a sporty character to it the red seats kind of give that away the a spec also kind of gives that away um, everything that's black and red in here i like it it's a little little floaty granted i am in sport mode let's see what else we have sport Normal, comfort, snow. I like the animations. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in sport. Alright, there's sport mode. That pulls the shifts a little longer. I'm just letting it do its thing at the moment. 
I'll, uh, I'll intervene here in a minute when we get around this other corner. But, uh, all in all, I'm really enjoying this rig. That plastic cladding seems to be the thing these days, doesn't it? Yeah. Around the wheels, down the sides, underneath. So over there in the Genesis, we had chrome, yep. chrome accents. Uh, but over here, again, sporty intentions, purposes. It's also, I don't want to say a cheaper vehicle, but a cheaper vehicle. Uh, Less black, expensive. Black, yes, there, yeah, that's better, <laughs> that's better. The seats actually have, uh, they're not terribly bolstered, but uh, they're, they're supportive and they're cushy. I, I mentioned earlier today the uh, Pacifica that has nice, comfortable, cushy seats. I think it was a Pacifica, maybe it's the Odyssey. Um, where in a world of stiff race styled seats uh, it's nice to have something that um, doesn't beat you up and make your butt go numb after a half hour of sitting in it. Just the amount of buttons on steering wheels nowadays. It's getting kind of ridiculous buttons are on steering wheels. We're calling this the Battle of the Grills just because they are the two biggest, boldest grills on SUVs here. And uh, they serve very different purposes. They both want to haul people and stuff. Uh, they both are of luxury brands. Um, but Acura's got more, like I said, a, a sporty uh, tilt to it, especially this A-Spec. It's got all-wheel drive. Uh, no locking center diff in this one, or hill descent no, control. They probably don't anticipate you taking nope. this one in the dirt, though. No, nope. uh, because if I truly want something sporty, we've, we've driven some crazy stuff today. The Hellcat, uh, the RCF uh, Fuji, like, they had the right dynamics. They weren't fighting against physics, and they worked. Uh, this is trying to check a lot of boxes off. Sporty, family hauler, stuff hauler. This feels like a gussied up Honda. Let's see. Let's give her the beans. lives up to the red seats but uh all right interested to hear what matt had to say about this yeah uh pretty sweet it's definitely not uh like slam you into the seat um all the kind of feelings that you get from the Hellcat or like the Fuji Edition uh, RC that we were just in a few minutes ago but all in all I mean it's pretty quick that was first second pull and touching uh, touching 60 already which is not bad Incredibly light. It goes exactly where you want it to. The ride, even in sport mode, is not harsh. It's nice. I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely want that Genesis back. My goodness. I could do some luxurious cruising in that thing. It's very, very easy to drive this car. Very comfortable. I could put some miles behind the wheel in this thing. It's a nice sound. Okay. I like it. I like it. I don't know that I'm going to tell Matt because I really want that Genesis back. What are your thoughts, Matt? Uh, your money, which are you taking? To be honest, I think I would, ha I would have to go with this one for a couple of reasons. One is it's a little smaller. I'm gonna lean on this brand a little more for reliability's sake, um, but the other reason is third row. Um, this is not as luxury minded, but for the daily driving that this would see and the few trips that I take, this would be just as comfortable. Um, 
and, and do everything that I need it to do. What about you, Corey? So I'm going luxury. Uh, when it comes to this whole big SUV trying to make it sporty thing, I don't know, I, I guess I, I tend to gravitate a little more to luxury because it could be done better. You're not fighting physics as much. Uh, with this shape, when you're trying to coddle the passengers versus carve corners, uh, I, I just, I loved the interior on this one, the fit and finish, the, the features, and I, I liked being pampered a little bit, not yeah. gonna lie. Fair so, enough. Especially after a long day out at the track. I want your opinion, which one do you think is faster? Right now, I would have to say that Genesis is probably faster. I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. After yeah. having driven both of them and put them through their paces, yeah, it's faster. Yeah. So even in being sport-minded in the Acura, it's just not as quick as this is. Yep. So there you have it, battle of the big grills. I would take luxury, Matt would take sport, and I bet you in a race that we're not going to do it on public roads, Genesis would probably take the, take the cake there as well. S straight line for sure. The Genesis, I think, would, would edge out for sure. Um, the Acura, though, you put that thing on a track. I know, they're SUVs, but you put that thing on a track, and I think that's going to catch up with the Genesis pretty quick. After three quarters of a mile, keep left. Uh-oh. A quarter it's of a mile, keep left onto the Texas 114 West. All right, I need to turn her off. How do I turn her off?